Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So I want to explain the EM tag right now. The EM tag is the emphasized text tag. It's just the same as italics, but we can use the EM tag. All right, you can italicize your text by adding any text between two EM tags. That's it. All right, so if you have any questions, please in the comment section below or send me an email or anything you want. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We need to use the embed tag. It's inside, it can be defined for a container that uses an external application or interactive content to be parsed into a plugin, which can be uh, downloaded from any link in the cloud. So we can use example.com slash embed slash hide or GIF, and we can see how it goes from there. So you can try any embedded example where you can see I'll add some more examples in the, uh, later text where you can try to embed them. Embedding is uh, getting it from somewhere else and placing it in your, on your website without you needing to lose storage nor bandwidth. It's just hosted somewhere and you're just getting it and playing it on your website. That's all it does. It can be a GIF, it can be a video, it can be a WMV, it can be a mp3 anything 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 you can think of you can embed it as long as it has an embed link all right so make sure to have an embed link and i'll add some example embed links in another text and uh, that's it thank you so much for watching if you have any questions please in the comment section below uh, or email me also and i'll see you in the next video all right welcome back ladies and gentlemen i want to say that we've ended the html5 over here i want to stop it because i don't want to go into in-depth javascript without explaining its basics because all the apis in html require basic javascript so i need you to wait for me and i'll explain the rest of the apis in the upcoming sessions with the javascript thank you so much all right welcome back ladies and gentlemen i want to explain something called the field set right now uh, the field set can be only used inside a form. So you can see we open the form tag and we closed it inside a field set. So the field set is just inside. And the field set explains, for example, if we want to say it groups related elements inside a form. So the name and the email can be a personality or a person or a human or anything you want. So anything, anyone can be in, have a name, can have an email, and you can add its type text. All right. So you can explain it's it's like more if you know if you're a programmer and uh, you create a class uh, human or a class person and you add its attributes it's just like that it's you're adding field set all right if you have any questions please let me know email me or add in the comment section below and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video welcome back ladies and gentlemen so now we're going to explain the fig caption or the figure caption so let's assume that we want to import the image which is e ibiza.png and the alternative name is also ibiza so if ibiza.png doesn't load we load the ibiza and we're giving it a style of 100% and the caption behind below it it's like instagram's caption or facebook uh, photos caption it's yeah, ibiza also you can use the fake caption so that's the fake caption it's just a figure caption and that's what it does thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoy it and if you have any questions please leave it in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next video all right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So the figure tag is uh, implementing a figure inside uh, of it. So you can use an image. It can be a circle. It can be a square. Anything you want. So it can be inside the figure tags. That's all it does. It gives it to you as a figure. All right. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next one. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, so I want to explain the font tag right now. The font tag has been used in HTML4 and it has been cancelled or discontinued in HTML5. So uh, we need to know that uh, the font has been replaced with CSS. So you can now implement um, a paragraph and give it an ID and change its font within the styling. Or you can uh, directly in HTML or you can use CSS, cascading style sheets, in order to change the font size or color. All right. So let's get from here. Uh, the font uh, can be modified from HTML4. You can give it a size, not a number, or you can give it a color. Or you can give it anything you want uh, in regards to giving any the font a design. That's all for now. Thank you so much for your hard time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next one.
Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, so this is a very short video, the footer tag, the footer tag is available in all HTMLs and it's the lowest section of the browser, so let's go to Google Chrome and here is the footer tag, you can add anything or uh, you can have um, hybrid text or images. That's all for the footer tag, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, I want to explain the form right now. The form is uh, considered one of the toughest parts of HTML. Uh, it's very easy, but many people struggle a little bit with forms, so I just want to make this as clear as possible and I just want to make this video as short as possible. So I took the privilege and added many of the components of the form. So, first of all, the form is still used till today, in HTML4 and HTML5. You start with an HTML form tag and you give it an action. The action takes you to an action page.php. PHP is another language, so PHP is a backend language, and nobody knows the acronym for PHP, so we just know PHP. All right, it's an abbreviation for something, but nobody knows the exact abbreviation. All right, so uh, we also need to add the method. We have many methods, but we'll use for this one the get method. All right, so uh, let's go with the first name. Uh, my first name is Elias, and I need to input this one, so I'll give it as input sorry I'll open this one and give it as input and the type is just text all right so it's that simple you just need to take text and need to receive text the name of the input should be first name all right and uh, that's it that's it we're gonna have so uh, let's use for example a line breaker so that they won't come all on the same line on the second one We'll use another sorry. We'll use another input, giving it a type of uh, text also, and the name of last name, and give it a line break. For the address, for example, uh, we can use also input type. Sorry, input type. Uh, we can try address. So it's an address, and we can give it the name of address. That's that easy. So it's very very easy to do that. And you can change the name here to address and use a line break also. All right, so let's continue. Input type. I'll include all the input types, but let's make sure to have, do most of the important ones. So for here, it's an email, and the name is email address, and it's a br. Okay, the age can be anything you want. So, but mainly I use uh, text because sometimes. If you add, the, for example, a number, numerical, uh, you can have problems with that, all right? So it's most important, get, sorry, no, not it's most important, I just want to use the word like, it's uh, really preferred to use text because sometimes people can write the age like this. So you can go with 20, sorry, 23. That's it. So that's how people do it. They just don't go with numerics. So keep it as text because if you go with numerics in the input type, and people write in a, the, a, new, a text, you can have a problem, all right? So you can have a problem with your inputs, and the, the input will, will be rejected. So let's go with the name and give it an H also. And this one is an input type of text also, and it can be a gender. I use text for, uh, sometimes people can use another type but then they can use a character but because you can say for example M or F but in my opinion it's best to use always text in age or in gender or anywhere because as I said here so if, if I want to say like let's write it as 23 and here as M so uh, if this is a character all right so and uh, a person writes a male it can change all right but if it's uh, 23 and people want to change it to something else they can't all right so that's the thing uh, we need to make sure to always have text and it's not a big deal on um, on let's say the memory or uh, saving down the data okay so uh, we can also have uh, explain somehow I want to explain some CSS and I want to say for example the display of the uh, form you can write this down for later CSS. Uh, there can be a block, all right. So it can be a one full block as a table, and but without borders, of course. And you can have these to in include them, and you can have a margin also. 
margin and you can have it as a pix uh, pixelated or em so i prefer em one em for example two em etc and we can have also a border with several em let's say 10 em and that's it all right so that's the form for now uh i need to you to make sure to understand the form I have another video on forms coming right up. Uh, I need to explain something if you don't want to use PHP, if you want to make it just an HTML, CSS, uh, static website, you can do something else. It's called Forms Pre, where you can uh, divert all your uh, form uh, inputs to your email address. All right, that's it for now. Uh, thank you so much. If you have any questions, please leave in the comment section below. And I'll make sure to include all the types that are on with the, the big document that I'll be sending you. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So I want to explain something called Formspree.io. A disclaimer before I start, I'm not affiliated with Formspree. I don't have anything with them. So if you want to use them, you can. If you don't, there's a lot of alternatives. But I prefer Formspree. It's the best one. All right. So uh, you can see the documentation over here. So let's try with the documentation. If you have any questions, but I... I don't think because it's very easy. It's delivered with Ajax, that's a synchronous JavaScript uh, and XML. So uh, I'll explain Ajax more in later videos, uh, especially with that JavaScript course. So well, let's go with try form spree if you want to try it. For example, let's see if you want to try it. And you can change your email address here. So let me use mine. It's Elias at emailoof.com. And you can send there. Sorry. It's Elias at emailoof.com and it's Elias at emailoof.com and we can send a test message for example test let's see if we get it oh yeah I got it on my mobile all right so uh, let's continue from there you can try it for your on your own and um, let's go with the plans so let's discuss the plans a little bit you can use the free always it's and perfectly good it's robust and it's extremely good and uh, let's say you want to do this so you just take this form uh, take the example and put it here and just change the variables so let's change this one to for example Elias at emailoof.com sorry emailoof.com the method should be post we'll explain methods more later on and the text is uh, so the text is, um, let's say here's the text, it's the name, the email reply to, and you can submit and send, all right? So that's it. Thank you so much. If you have any questions of the about forms, please hit me on the comment section below or send me an email and I'll be sure to respond within 12 to 24 hours. And I'll see you in the next video. Well, uh, P.S. We're done with forms, all right? So I'm really sorry to say that it took us a lot of time with forms, but let's let's finish this. So if you have any questions, I, I remind you and I urge you to please contact me so that we can fix them out and uh, we can continue over. Thank you. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So I want to take a short second and ask you how you're feeling this course so far. Like, are you improving or not improving? Do you like it? Do you not like it? There's a form associated with this video. I need you to please go and log in and fill in the data and from there we need to know uh, how are you feeling this course so far like are you enjoying it or not what are the parts that you don't like it what are the parts that you like it and thank you so much because your data is very valuable for me and it helps me improve all right so this is my first ever course and i'm trying my best to give you all what i have all the knowledge that i have i want to put it on the table and continue with this course and I want to make so many courses that I need to make sure that everything goes according to plan. All right. So please, please, please check out the form and give me your ideas. Give me your feedbacks. Give me anything. All right. Write anything. All right. I like this course. Right. This suck. And this course sucks. All right. So anything, anything, anything that comes up in your mind about this course right now, please write it down. Thank you so much. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I also hope that you are enjoying your day and everything's going good. So uh, I'll see you in the next one.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So now we're going to explain something called the frame set. Uh, the frame set can be used within the frame tag. And I want to make sure to tell you that the frame tag has been discontinued since HTML4. And it's not supported anymore in HTML5. But I need to make sure to you, you know how to understand and how to use it. Excuse me. So here's the frame set. And let's delete this one. And let's delete this one here over here. And include between the frame sets. So long time ago, there wasn't a GIF uh, as in now. So they used to use uh, frame sets, and uh, they used to give each frame, while appearing, a certain number of uh, times. So for example, I wanna F. the first one needs to appear 25% of the time. Sorry, 25% of the time. The second one needs to appear 25% of the time also. The third one needs to appear. Uh, let's say this one needs to appear 10% of the time. And the, the fifth one, the fourth one, sorry, needs to appear 20% of the time. So now we have 20, 10, 30, and 50, that's 80. So we need to appear the uh, fifth one on 20% also. All right, so then we need to include a new frame, which is frame SRC, and give it frame A dot, sorry, frame A, frame A, dot html frame src frame src give it frame b dot html so you can use one frame only and you can use unlimited frames it's up to you and frame src frame c dot html and we can remove this one so uh, we have three frames and we can use frame d src i like to type them that's it sorry sorry for taking so much time to type them but i just really enjoy typing them and the frame d is uh, this one so we have now also frame e which is frame src frame e dot html and we remove this frame so we can have uh, the frame one in which it will appear first in 25% uh, of the time. Second one which will appear 25% uh, of the time. Third one will appear 10% of the time. Fourth one will appear. 20% of the time and fifth one will appear also 20% of the time and that's it so uh, we are accepting five frames which will complete a full picture and we're accepting them as 25 25 25 20% 20% it's also not time you can just for uh, let's say not include them as GIF, but you can uh, make it as a full set, full picture, and have it 25, 25, 10, 20, 20. And that's it. All right. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed the frame set. I need to make sure to add it as a note. It is not used anymore in HTML5. And that's it for now. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this video. And we'll continue in the next one. Bye. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, so now we'll explain the head tag. The head tag is anything that includes the upper part of the browser and the GUI. Let's see that in Google Chrome. So here's the head tag from here to almost here. It's like around 2-3 centimeters max. Alright, and uh, the head tag can include the title and the head tag is an obligatory tag. Thank you so much. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, so now I'm going to explain the header tag. And the header tag is one of the most important tags in HTML and I'm going to show it to you on a real website so let's go to bbc.com and this is a header tag here over here so it's saying hundreds detained in violent French riots. So uh, it's a very important tag so we go here for example hundreds detained in French riots. You can remember every one but I just went to this one. And here, for example, police fire rubber bullets and tear gas at rioting protesters in Paris at, as cars are set alight. This comes in um, H6, for example. Police set off tear gas. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, so if we went to this one, 
and we pick this one instead of a lorem ipsum and I'll explain lorem ipsum in the next video okay so this is uh, for example a full paragraph so that's that's the thing I need you to make sure of uh, the first one is the most important part it's also the header it has h1 h6 you can include any paragraph and you can remove the paragraph and uh, put it outside the header it's up to you so it's up to what you have need to do in the article if we can have it as a full header or you can have the paragraph outside of the article that's all for now thank you so much for watching if you have any questions leave it in the comments section below and i'll see you in the next video all right welcome back ladies and gentlemen so now we're going to explain the headings from one to six the headings are types of uh, lines or you can say types of text and text size so we can start with the h1 which is heading one and it's the largest text in that group and you can have h2 which is a bit larger but uh, it's not the largest h3 is a bit smaller and you go with h4 to the small one h5 smaller and h6 smallest uh, it's very easy to do them and it's very important because sometimes you just don't want to decorate that text it's just you want to make them big or small you can use h1 to h6 and that's it Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next one. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So now I'm going to explain the HR tag. The HR tag is a very simple and easy to use tag, and this one is going to be a very short video. The HR tag just splits two texts in a thematic view, so it just changed the theme of the content. So, for example, let's say if I'm talking about two different topics, I can use the HR to split between them without having to split uh, within paragraphs and that's all HR do, it does uh, it doesn't have a closing tag but you can use that, uh, it like this or you can add one over here it's just the same alright so uh, thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one if you have any questions please leave it in the comments section below and thanks ladies and gentlemen welcome back to this course uh, the HTML tag is an obligatory tag it's very important to have the HTML tag and it, the browser won't open anything if you don't have the HTML tag. So what's the difference between the one on line one and the one on line three? The one on line one is opening HTML file, so it's telling the browser that we're starting here with HTML. The one on line three is closing the HTML tag and it's telling the browser that we're stopping here and we're not continuing anymore. All right, so this one, any tag with a forward backslash is just closing the tag. All right, thank you. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So the section tag will include uh, everything like a div tag. All right, so it's just specifying a specific section of a web browser. That's all the section does. All right, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I hope to see you in the next video. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I want to explain the span right now. Uh, the span is an inline element that does not start a new line and only takes up as much width as necessary. So, for example, I just I don't want to reserve the whole uh, division for nothing. So I use the span. It reserves only just to the number two. All right, and the width also till here. That's it. That's all it reserves. The height is until number two, and the width is until the end of the span. That's all the span reserves, and it's very good if you want to make sure like to get over things that uh, can use you a lot of space so make sure to use the span if you need that and uh, make sure to know that it's also modifiable in CSS we'll come back to CSS later on and we'll have an example about each and every one of them explaining the difference between the span and the div and you'll see it in live that will help you much more thank you so much ladies and gentlemen I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions please leave in the comment section below and I'll be sure to see you in the next one Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, so I want to explain the symbols, so for example if I say I need to have a dollar, I can just put it here and say a dollar, so I use the N dollar to explain the N dollar, and if I want to use the Euro for example, I can use the N Euro, I'll be tagging uh, a small file having all of these together, the ends that you can use, and please be, uh, read them and be sure to understand them, if you have any questions please in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next one. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, so now I'll explain the title tag, uh, don't worry I kept the head tag on purpose because I need you to know that the title tag needs to be inside the head tag because it can be outside of it because uh, it's in the upper part of the browser so as we explained before that Google Chrome, let's say google.com 
this Google over here is the head and the title tag. You can name it anything you want. We'll see that in the later examples. Thank you so much. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, we explained most of these tags. We just didn't explain the section tag. And